Yeah, so first we have Jesus Christ, okay. Alright, so I can actually just play now with without actually turning off fraps. Maybe it was a bug last time. Alright. First... Okay, that Joker's gone. So the chopper is taken care of. It's good. Now we have this dude. Alright, taken care of. He had a turret that was nasty. And now in the, I need to get to the distance. There's a rubber boat there. I need to take it. But as you can see in the distance, there are dudes as well. They are heading my way. I don't know how to switch grenade. I should actually look it up. How do you switch grenade? So I'm going to game. Uh, fire next weapon. Cycle grenade. H. All right. Oh my god, that was brutal. Fuck you! Another one. Oh shit. Damn it, I want to go back down and get that armor. Shooting some rope or something, I don't know what. Just doing that for the physics, because I love it. There's one more. I think that's all of them. You know what? I fucking hate you. You'll take a nap over there. Bye. For you goes the same, asshole. I think I hit you in the neck, didn't I? Yep. That must have been a painful death. Oh, I shot you in the head as well. <laughs> this one's showing off how big his cock is or something. Wow, I don't know? Who the fuck that was? How he got there? Maybe because of a grenade, I don't know. So, this was also pretty new for me, that you could, like, shoot off that. Like, in all honesty, I don't know what would happen. I've never tried it because I'm too chicken. What would have happened if you are now at the other side? If you then just fucked? Maybe... I guess that's an option to get here. If you actually land on the boat, you die. <laughs> okay, I've got a boat. Now what? Our only chance is to disrupt the entire communication grid. That's the only way to cause enough confusion for you to escape completely. To do that, we need to get you to Kabatu. Head east to find them, because you're not going to be able to stop if that's for directions. So now we will get the demo level, which I actually played a lot before the game even came out. I had to play it on my uncle's PC, because at the time of the demo, I didn't have a PC well enough yet to actually play it. And this one is actually the most open level of all, probably. It showed off uh, stealth aspects and everything really well. The mercenaries have established a communications facility here. You need to disrupt their communications by destroying the satellite dish. That will create enough confusion for you to escape. And then we can focus on finding the house. So, what is pretty cool about this is there is a camp over there. So I was like... Oh, God. I'm getting seasick over here. There's a camp... You're using the wrong bait. Try this. A grenade. Man, Freddy, you are out of your freaking mind. Wow, we have everything here, don't we? We have fucking uh, British people, French people, German people in this army. 
they actually look like a shark hung over there. Um, so you can go over there and kill them straightforward. They will call me for you can go over there get the jungle. What I always do, and I didn't do this at the beginning, but I I noticed that this was the best way to kind of do it. I think, if I'm not mistaken. Oh God. Left. No tourists, no nothing, it's just yeah. us. So, who are we got in We'll take care of business. Wild pigs, the seagulls, really pissed off starfish. Just you wait. Something will hit some magic. So, you, you can just go there, head straight in. But, what I always do is I pick this beach. It's not as well guarded. And you can actually, if you're good enough, which I actually, I hope I am this time, I managed to do, is sneak through the bushes and ignore these guys completely. You don't need the car in this level. You really don't. Try and do it sneaky this time. But you could see that the the stealth system is a little dodgy with the fact that oh, I'm already discovered. But the other guy, I'll buy a guy over there. It should be not of my concern though. Should be okay. Back at that camp where they were fishing, somebody saw me. But yeah, yeah the dodgy cell system that effect that I, in the last level, I opened, you know, a door, and that sound made somebody go, hmm? Whereas I have no control of how I open a door, you know? Here we go. Just stick to this wall. And it should be okay. What's wrong with shark? Don't you know what the sharks around here have been eating? Where do you think all of Krieger's failed experiments go? Dude, that's just wrong. There, you could kind of already get a slight hint of what's to come. With the twist and everything. That guy might see me. Need to get behind a fucking bush quick. In the grass. Grass also provides cover. What's that mean? Exactly. Okay. Obviously, if you get close enough, you can actually just hear him with the bare ear. You don't need your binoculars. Usually, though, they would already spot you at that time, though. That close. But this is kind of like tension, man, and that's what I like about the game. It will have more of those situations later on where it's more panic and stuff. Oh 
god. Did it automatically. I think I probably got something to do besides sit on our butts. What are you bitching about? This is the best job ever. Nothing to do all day but hang out on the beach and play with guns. What more can you ask for? Oh sure, that part's cool. But being in here sucks. You just think life as a mercenary is supposed to be more exciting than this, right? Listen, Junior. You'd better hope nothing happens to make it exciting. It's real simple. When a mercenary's life starts to get exciting, that's when it starts to suck. That is a valuable life lesson, children. In fact, like I said before, I think um, a lot of my audience is between 11 and 14 years old. Which means that some of them were like, you know, four or something when uh, when this game came out. Which means that some of you actually might have never played this game, and that's a shame. It was funny because while I was growing up as a kid, you know, games like Zelda, Ocarina of Time and stuff, many people were like, oh yeah, that's the greatest game ever and stuff, and the whole Nintendo 64 generation was just normal, but now there's a whole new generation, and I kind of... I kind of still need to get used to that. So I'd have the same conversation again. Alright, now we're heading towards the jungle, which is where we need to get to. I don't remember if there are guys in the jungle, though. I know that this is pretty much as stealthy as I can be here, and that from now on the stealth will kind of be over. Yeah, no, okay, I guess I need to go up. After all, the Japanese tank over there. <laughs> Always nice. I mean, the level design of this game is so fucking brilliant. We need more games like this. You're much more likely to encounter resistance on marked paths. If you keep to the jungle, your odds suddenly get a whole lot better. Indeed. Oh, there we have. There we go. Me, I'll fix his little red wagon. What are you? Like 200 years old? My grandpa talks better trash than that, dude. Fine. Fine. I'll mess him up. I'll kick his ass. I'll tear off it. You see something? Yeah. Let's go. Oh, that was Phil. Did I get him? I don't know if I get that one. Oh, as you can see though, because of the sound, or maybe because they alerted the others, uh, all the other fucking dots on the map are also now red or yellow. And they will actually come over here eventually. I think it's that. I think it's... That's smoke. It's a call for help. Uh, I need to get the fuck out of here. Oh shit, they're here with the car. That's new. Ow. Shit. Okay, well. There goes my fucking... They got out of the car. They're getting over here. See, they really hunt you down. I like that so much from the game. Well, that was that, I guess. Fuck me. You do what? You heard me. I'll fix his little red wagon. What are you? Like... 
Fine, fine. I'll mess him up. Grenade out! Maybe it was my grenade, actually, that... Made everybody fucking... Alerted. <clears throat> oh, Jesus. Obviously, you hear a grenade from pretty far away. Also, what the fuck is that? I need to get rid of this. Okay. Don't know if he's gone, but I need to get out of here! Alright, get the fuck out of here. They're coming. Whoa! What's the whole fucking army? Alright. So here we have multiple ways as well, I guess. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's another way to get up here stealthy, actually. Where, though? Where was it? Hold on. Hold the phone. There was another way. How do you get there, though? Don't remember. Well, you didn't really stop me. But nice try anyway. Is he doing the Hal Hitler? Hmm. Maybe they are Nazis after all. Oh. Yeah, that's why we wear body armor. Bring it, asshole. I'm waiting. Or, well, you know, it's Whatever it was, it's not worth our trouble. Did you see something? Did you hear that? Who wants some shit? Reloading! Oh, slaughtering! Love it! Might be one more. No, seems clear. What do you do? Redneck today! Big boobs, big mullets, big guns. Oh, you fucking rednecks. Oh, hold on. Now we got a choice to make. Oh, this is a silence weapon, isn't it? Hold on. Yeah, it is. Sweet! So my bad about the first, uh, no sign guns. Though I don't know... I don't think this actually functions as a silence weapon in this game. I think if you use it, people will still be alerted. But it's a pretty cool weapon, though, nonetheless. Levels are sometimes pretty big, but because of you can actually take different routes, 